Any, mini, miny, mo, I'm going to eat you. Well, that seemed random. It wasn't. Calculated. Because that's the one that I want. All right, what are we talking about here? I know you have a lot of worries in your life when it comes to food, right? You worry about whether or not there are preservatives, whether there's MSG, whether it's genetically modified, whatever. Ah, trivial worries. Well, let me give you something that you probably didn't even know you have to worry about. How about advanced glycation end products, mercifully abbreviated as AGEs? What are these things? Well, whenever you have uh, protein or fat, they can react with sugar. And uh, this is a chemical reaction, very sensitive to, to temperature, and it produces a range of compounds. Uh, the reaction originally was investigated over 100 years ago by a French physician who had a penchant for chemistry by the name of Maillard. We still call it the Maillard reaction. In fact, this is what happens when you cook food and the food gets brown. Well, why are we talking about this? Because these uh, advanced glycation end products can form in our body, but can also form in food when we cook food. And they are linked to chronic inflammation in the body, low-grade inflammation, which is a real problem, and they can also produce free radicals in the body and are linked to aging and to various kinds of, of diseases. They put what we call oxidant stress on the body. All right, these are my two signature dishes. I've been making them for years. Of course, my background is Hungarian, so I make chicken paprikash, which is basically a chicken stew, and I make Wiener schnitzel. This particular one is made from, from chicken. It's flour, egg, breadcrumbs, and of course, it is fried. Well, until I really started thinking about these advanced glycation end products, I didn't think that there was a whole lot of difference between these. Of course, you realize that if something is fried, it will absorb fat, etc. But, you know, I don't need that so often as to really worry about it. But once you get into research about these advanced glycation end products, you see that the method of cooking makes a big, big difference. The higher the temperature, the more of these nasties you get. And in fact, schnitzel will produce a great deal because you cook it, of course, in very hot oil at a very, very high temperature. Whereas when you're making the chicken paprikash, you're essentially stewing it. You're cooking it at 100 degrees, the boiling point of, of water. So uh, I, I can make the argument for this being a lot better for us than this. And in terms of taste, well, I'll make that argument too. This tastes really good because what I put in there, aside from the chicken, is tomatoes, green peppers, and a lot of paprika. Each of those not only makes it taste good, but it adds antioxidant potential to it, which reduces the oxidative stress on the body. So when I make the choice here, I now gravitate towards the chicken paprikash, and I can also argue about the flavor. But if you are worried about taking in these advanced glycation end products, as indeed we should be, because I think they can have an impact on health, what you have to realize is that uh, there are many foods out there that don't contribute such compounds. For example, if we are eating lots of fruits and we are eating lots of vegetables, well, we've been down that road before. We know that a diet that is mostly based on plant products is really the, the healthiest diet. But if you're going to have some protein with it, I think chicken is the way to go. And if you have to make the distinction between frying and stewing, you go in this direction. And I can guarantee you that mm, you will even enjoy the taste. And uh, why not have some broccoli along with it? Mm, that's good.